Well, if you drank a beverage recently out of a can, chances are the aluminum used to make the end of the can, the one with the pop top, was treated in warrant. Today at the Novellus plant, a new multi-million dollar addition was announced, which will hopefully keep the plant viable for years to come. The ribbon was cut this afternoon. For the new addition at the Novellus Warren plant, $4.5 million for a new pre-treatment process. I firmly believe this investment and the employees who led it to the finish line will further define our leadership role in the beverage can industry. Novellus is located on Griswold Street near the old Delphi plants. The large rolls of aluminum in the plant were shipped here to be treated, after which the treated aluminum is shipped back out to can makers, where it's used to make the ends of cans, the part with the pop tabs. And those are folks like Pepsi, Coke, Anheuser-Busch, uh, Coors. Mark Nichols was a leader of getting the new pre-treatment process built. He showed me the new equipment, how it was constructed right alongside the current process, which meant no downtime for the plant. Andrea Arneo was the project manager. She says the new pretreatment process will allow Novellus to be more versatile. And it will also allow us, um, hopefully in the future, to add different product lines to our portfolio. So should there be a downturn in the beverage can industry, Novellus may, for example, make products for food containers or truck trailers. In the foreseeable future, though, the company is committed to the ends of cans. Warren alone probably takes care of, I would think, maybe 40 to 45 percent of the market. 79 people work at Novellus, which generates $7.3 million a year in wages and benefits. A $4.5 million investment and upgrade says a lot about what you feel about our city, and we feel the same about you. The plant occupied by Novellus has some history behind it, some parts of it date to around 1900 and was originally involved in the making of steel and brass. In World War II, the plant made the landing craft for the U.S. Navy, for example, to get U.S. troops to the beaches on D-Day.